Well, John Murray just confirmed that the Terror Tram is returning to Halloween Horror Nights for the 2022 season. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and today marks the first HHN speculation on the channel. Now, we're just barely as of this recording in January going into February and we're already starting to get a lot of uh, clues and speculation as to what's coming to HHN in 2022. Uh, and today's tweets have a lot to do with that topic. Uh, scrolling through Twitter today, I looked at John Murdy's Twitter account and they replied, he has begun scare zone development, uh, has settled on a terror tram overall concept, but still hasn't started the design on that yet. And that usually comes after all the mazes are done. Uh, Terra Tram being something that you can set up real quick. Only a couple props here and there to kind of fill in the storyline as to what the Terra Tram is. But glad to see Terra Tram is making a return this year. My buddy from the haunt line, John, went on to retweet that and say, Seems like Terra Tram is coming back and here to stay. Here's hoping they make use of the old Grinchmas footprint this year. Uh, which at that point, John Murdy does reply saying, I wanted to last year, wasn't able to because they wanted the cars there for the studio tour. My buddy John replying, makes sense. Glad you guys stuck some performers in there. Wasn't ready for that. So with the Terra Tram officially slated to return to HHN 2022, confirmed by John Murdy, uh, that begs the question, what's going to be the theming? Now, last year, the Terra Tram did make a return after a one-year hiatus of not being at the event. Technically, two if you count, you know, not having an event in 2020. Thank you, COVID. Um, but it made a return in 2021 with the Purge theme, uh, Terra Tram, um, kind of colliding all the movies together and making kind of an ultimate Purge, which was pretty cool to see. Now, the speculation part of this in me is kind of curious. Is it going to be an original theme or is it going to be an IP theme? Uh, the IPs. Let's talk about some IPs that are popping right now. Obviously, the top of the list, uh, the most notable one is going to be Scream. We haven't seen Scream at the event since 2011, and it was under a terror tram called Scream for Your Life. The first year I ever went, um, and I remember going through that terror tram and checking it out and seeing it, and it was a lot of fun. It was cool to see Ghostface running around the back lot and they had this whole storyline of them making a new stab movie and it kind of went out of hand when Ghostface started terrorizing the lot and bodies started to peer up and whatnot and then you find out obviously you're going to the area where stab is filmed and Ghostface is terrorizing you and the guest and you got to make it through the back lot or not the back lot the uh yeah the back lot um you know the Bates Motel the War of the World's Crash site uh the Bates House all that stuff you had to walk through that with Ghostface terrorizing you. So it makes sense for Ghostface to come back uh, 11 years later because, you know, the with the release of the new Scream movie has a lot of material to work with to kind of bring that storyline to life. Um, it would be kind of cool to see Scream return. Another return that I would personally like to see, which is more on the original side of things, would be the return of Hollywood Harry. Uh, we've had two chapters of Hollywood Harry at the event, and we were hoping because everyone knows in Hollywood we don't have icons, that Hollywood Harry would be our first official icon of the event. Uh, we had him in 2016, which was Eli Ross Presents the Terror Tram, and that was the introduction of this character, Hollywood Harry, who used to be a clown that worked at the park. But when clowns became the stuff of nightmares in cinema, he ended up losing his job and kind of going off the grid until he returned and brought some friends along. So that was a fun terror tram to go through. I remember going through that and actually enjoying that one. And then in 2018, he came back. And that was the final terror tram before the terror tram was done uh, with the 2019 season. But in 2018, he returned uh, and Hollywood Harry came back with a vengeance. He had a voice and he brought more of his friends along. A lot of fun, a good terror tram nonetheless. I, I do like Hollywood Harry. I like that storyline of Hollywood Harry. So Hollywood Harry making a return for the third time would be really cool. Uh, come up with a new storyline, come up with a new kind of gimmick for him. That'd be really cool. Um, so I'm excited to see that if that were to happen. Now, the terror tram, um, if you guys remember, they did take out the Grinchmas set. So that that is no longer there, opening up space for them to build more if they need to, needed to or wanted to. Uh, the only problem that's kind of causing that area to not be built right now is obviously the picture cars that are placed there for the studio tour for the daytime operations. 
However, since they are cars, they are easily movable. They can store those away for the Halloween season and then bring them back out after the Jichen season is over, giving the Terra Tram a little extra space to build kind of a little gauntlet area before you go into the Bates Motel. Um, if you guys remember back in 2011 when they did Scream for Your Life, they had a gauntlet style area in front of the Bates Motel. So you walk through this kind of gauntlet and Ghostface was popping out everywhere. If they were to move that and put it over where um, Whoville used to be, it's a lot of space to fill, a lot of um, area to fill. So it'd be kind of like a mini maze of its own, setting up the story for you to go through the Bates Motel, the Bates House, and of course the War of the Worlds crash site. Um, so I'm excited to see how they utilize this space, what property is going to come, if it's going to be an IP or an original. I'm really excited, but... The exciting part is the Terra Tram is returning for the 2022 season, and I'm beyond excited for that. Terra Tram is personally one of my favorite attractions at Halloween Horror Nights, and I cannot be more stoked for that. So with all that being said, what do you guys think is going to return to the Terra Tram in the 2022 season? Leave your comments down below of some you know, theories, fan theories, um, IPs, originals that you would love to see uh, make an appearance on the Terra Tram. And yeah, any more HHN? haunt related news we're going to keep you guys covered but until then i'm anthony from the knights of horror and i will see you guys next week for another video